Hello, in this video I want to show you how to create a state machine and a parsing table for, for LR parsing. In case you're just interested in the parsing table, be warned that you need the state machine in order to create the parsing table. This is the example number two. If you want a more easy example, just look at example number one. You will also find more explanations in example number one. Okay, so let's start. These are our rules. As always, all the big letters are terminate symbol, non-terminate symbols, so like variables and all the other ones like the i and the multiplication and the plus sign are usual letters and as usual the dollar sign here indicates the end of our input. So uh, an example input could be this one and sorry i and at the end a dollar sign. This is as always our technical state that just indicates that if after e nothing comes then we're finished and everything is fine. Okay. We already learned the first state has all these things in itself. Like this. And we should of course also not forget the pointer that tells us where we are reading at the moment. And which character or which, not character, but which symbol can be the next one. Okay, let's start with the, the rule in here. We can have the input E, for example. Our pointer shifts once one symbol to the right. And this time we have to take a little bit more care because the E is not only here but also here. So we also have to take this one into account. And here we go. If you watch the other example, if we are in front of the dollar sign, this is usually our final state, the accepting state. This cannot be the time. We cannot do the same here because we have this rule in here that's still there. So I will draw another state. I never saw this in any documents before. But just to make it clear, right? And we will get into that state with the dollar sign. We don't need that state afterwards in the table, just for us now to make it clear, right? So next input we can have from here is a plus. Now it's getting more interesting. And as we learned before, if the pointer is in front of such a variable or non-terminate symbol, then we also have to take into account all the ones that have a T in the front. And as we learned before, if the pointer is in front of a variable, then we have to take in all the rules into account that also have this variable in the front. Like this. And what you learned here now is that the process of deciding which rule comes inside the state is iterative or recursive. So for each new rule we add here, we have to check if the pointer is in front of a variable. And if that is the case, then we have to add that one. Luckily, we only had the F in here. We also had the T in here, but we already had the T rules from this one. So we're fine with this. Therefore, always make sure to check if, sorry, if the pointer is in front of such a variable. Okay, let's go on this one. Let's say the next input is T. A pointer goes to the end, but we have to take care because there's another T in here. So this rule also has to be applied here. I changed the color of the pen so something is going to happen. You know that when the pointer is at the end we can reduce. So we can reduce or replace the E plus T with an E. We can reduce and we can use the rule number two so we write that down here. But we also have to take into account that this could also be the case. So we write reduce or shift. Afterwards we have to take care how to manage this one state. Okay, we're finished with this one, so let's go on with this one. What happens if we get a, a star, an asterisk? The pointer moves once, and we learn that the pointer is in front of a variable, so we have to take the variable into account. You see that I'm not yet used to my pointer sometimes shifting too much. Okay, and the pointer here is, of course, in the front, right? Okay, let's go on with this one, the first one. We, What happens if we get an F at, in, at S? sorry, as input, the pointer shifts one symbol to the right, and that's it. In this case, we were lucky, we don't have any other rule here, so we can just reduce this thing by rule number four. Now let's check the eye. What's happen, what happens if we get an eye? We end up with this one, and once again, we're lucky because there's no other rule, so we can reduce this one. This time, we're reducing by rule number two, uh, five, sorry, five. Why do I say two? Okay, so we're finished with all of that stuff. We're finished with all of that. We had the T in here, so now we check the F. That's the new state, nothing else. So we can reduce it. We can apply rule number three here. 
so that's fine that's also fine we also ha already have the t so now we check the i and the i will bring us to this state so luckily no new state so we're finished with all of that stuff we're finished with this one let's go back and finish this one off we had the input e here so next we want to check the input t once again we have to take this other rule into account and once again we have a reduction this rule will reduce with by rule number one or we have a shift if we have a star at the next one for the next input for the next input this is going to be reduced we don't have to care about that one but we will care about the star now and we figure out that the star actually brings us down to this state then we're finished with this one we care about the f in here if we get the f we will end up in this state and then we're almost finished we have the i left which will bring us in this state that's it for the state machine before we go on with the rest we want to add states to this one as in the last example you can add the states with numbers whatever you want I just follow my example here on the paper there we go and now we need to rearrange all that stuff state machine state machine is smaller the rules are smaller and now we got the table we have all the states on the left side from 0 to 8 and we have all the input characters including the dollar sign here on the left side and we have all the I call it variables on the right side let's start with state number 0 and explain all the things that are different to the other example make sure to remember that when we have variables we don't have any shifts or rules as I mentioned before I had it, I added this state but we don't need it in the table itself because we can just um, write except here full stop but we can also have a plus here okay a lot of stuff left out let's start with the most easy ones with the third one we have the reduction rule 3 that we can apply we have to now take care which characters for which input we apply the rule remember from the last video that some books or some videos just write this one here if there's only one rule in here why because it doesn't make any difference in the end but it's not really correct so sorry for that so we remove that because this is a T we can only apply the rule for all the characters in the follow set of T which is a dollar plus and the star why is it like this just short explanation after the T comes a star after the T comes an E and after the E comes a plus and after another E comes a dollar sign if you want more information on the follow function just watch the video about the follow function for us this means rule number three will be applied here here and here finish with that one with that one okay next one is state number four we have the same thing again this time we have an F here so we're interested in the follow function of F which will give us the exact same characters we apply rule number five to all these characters all these characters and then we're finished with this next let's check state number eight now we care about the T here can you say that in English same game we apply rule number four not to I because it's not in the set here I always try to make an English pronunciation but it's going away and shifts to a German one sorry for that let's check the next one state number two now it's getting really interesting we have two things first we have a shift let's care about the shift first if there is a star as input we have a shift and we end up in state number six we go down here okay now we have a reduction rule as well the reduction rule is about the E and here is the big point why just doing like this stuff is not helping you with the rest of the world because you usually don't put it here here and here now you have to check the follow function this is where the follow function is actually important and this is for me the only reason why I don't put all the reduction rules in here the follow set of E is just a dollar and a plus again why dollar and plus because after E there's a dollar after E there's a plus this means we apply the reduction number one only to the plus and the dollar sign not to the star not to the eye that means I will make an example later but for the future that means if you look at the 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 state machine here and you come in to this state and you have an input something like this 
in the state machine you have no idea should I should I should I reduce now or should I shift but if you look at the table you have a clear view okay if what's coming next sorry what's coming next is this one if it's a star then shift if it's a plus then reduce and if it's an I then return an error because that's not possible okay that being said finished with number two the rest is pretty easy because it's just the same you have a shift to state number six and otherwise for the E in this case again we have reduction number two like this and then we're finished and this is our result the parsing table if you have any questions if you have any comments write them in the comments make sure to read the video description if you made any mistakes I will update them in the video description if they are not updated there then please leave a comment and point me out to the mistake okay and once again thanks for watching